Anyways, like I was saying, the watchtowers were my idea, but Quentin designed them. He's pretty clever when it comes to building stuff. With girls, not so much. Trouble in paradise. God, don't get me started. So the other night we had a pretty close call, right? I mean, zombies were inside. We were all freaked. So we raided the liquor department afterwards, just to take the edge off, you know? Go on. So, yeah. We both drank more than we probably should, and there's this couch in the manager's office, and... Yeah. Better deal with this first. <coughs> Where were we? So, yeah. We both drank more than we probably should, and there's this couch in the manager's office, and... Yeah. But now he's doing this whole lost puppy thing. Following me around, and acting like we're married or whatever. Okay, we got some more materials headed your way. They're loaded down pretty good, though. An escort would be helpful. Keep an eye on our six. Way there. Shit, I don't know. I mean, he seems like a nice enough guy, but he's just sex, you know? And if he doesn't knock off this clinging vine thing, I think I might throttle him. So, uh, how's it coming out there? See what I mean? give us some protection anyways. We would have lost a lot of people without you. That counts for something in my book. Anyway, thanks for the... Oh, what the fuck? Hold it right there. Hands where we can see him. Whoa. Easy there, Alex. It's me, Sheriff Carl. But we don't want any trouble. We're just here to talk. Yeah, you wasted a trip. Turn around, walk away, and forget you ever saw this place. Huh? Wait, who's Alex? Forget it. We're not interested in signing up with your little society. He's up, Becca. Not everybody's out to kill us and take our stuff. It doesn't take everybody. Just one. All right. We'll go. We're not here to pressure anybody. You folks stay safe now. Hope you're keeping your nose clean, Alex. Up okay? No. Man, I don't know how much longer I can take this. You know I had to shoot. Jesus, Are you okay? want to know, one of the Wilkerson goons just dropped off a care package. I sound like he hadn't bathed in a month. Seriously, I think the zombies stink less. Anyway, I hope you know what you're doing. I'm really not sure being buddy-buddy with the Wilkersons is a good idea. Thank you. Scratch that off the wish list. I don't have enough space for this.
I'll check this out next. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't come home and rest a little. Anybody in here? <laughs> Consider this one searched. Anybody in here? Thanks. You okay? <clears throat> Come on, we gotta get going. I'm done here. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. <clears throat> Something's still moving around in here. Shame about Maybelline's boy. Damn shame. I brought him into this world 20 odd years ago. Oh, it's only fitting I took him out for two. Boy loved him some vanilla ice cream. The day his tonsils came out, I think he won the lottery. Surprised you remember that. I remember all my kids.
Word around town is you're making quite a splash for yourself, my friend. You might not know me yet, but I think the two of us could do each other a lot of good. Why don't you come down to Marshall so we can have a little face-to-face -face chat? Anything about this Ray guy? Yeah, he's kind of a local big shot. Owned a bunch of businesses in Marshall, served on the county commission, that kind of thing. A lot of people used to say he was crooked, but nobody ever proved anything. All I know is when my dad's insurance wouldn't cover my treatment, Ray shows up at our place one night with an envelope full of cash. Tells my dad not to worry so much. Just remember me in November. It was ten thousand dollars. That's a lot of money for a county commission. Yeah, well. I don't know where he got it, and I don't really care. Ray's a good guy in my book. Just enjoying the view.
Glad you made it. Hope this wasn't too far out of your way. I like to come up here sometimes to think. Really gives you a sense of the big picture, you know? Go ahead. Have a look. Take it in. My family's got deep roots in this town. My grandpa started with nothing but the deed to a few dozen acres of empty wilderness. He spun it into a lumber empire to put all four of his kids through college. My father took that education and gave back to this town. Miguel Santos was the first Latino mayor Marshall ever had. Did you know that? Community, you see. That's what matters, now more than ever. All of us together, doing our own thing, but helping our neighbors when they need it. Marshall's seen some pretty bad times, and some good. But my family 